What up? It's I from Ask I Solar. And this panel is 600 watts of portable goodness. Let's get into some actual factuals. So looking at the specs on here, you got peak power 600 watts. Open circuit voltage is 52 volts. Short circuit current is 14 amps. Real voltage or real amps is 44 volts. And then you're looking at like about 13.6 amps, which is a perfect panel for a lot of power stations that can take in about 500 watts. It's actually gonna be a really good pairing with their power station, the All Powers R1500, or maybe the R2500, because I think both of those can take in up to 600 watts. So this is perfect. And that is how that thing looks folded up. I mean, come on, you can't get no better than that. 600 watts carrying it around to you on a campground, at the park with a day with the family. This is actually a good thumbnail. <laughs> It comes with a Brolic MC4 to XT60. I was actually quite shocked at this because all of their previous panels have been Anderson, but they have made a shift to XT60 on their power stations. So now their panels come with XT60. It also comes with some carabiners, six of them. And then a surprising addition is it comes with a little extension cable. It's probably maybe about four feet. No, it's maybe about a three foot cable, but that's pretty cool. It comes with an extension. They say that this is an ETFE panel. Most ETFE panels have this like not smooth consistency on it. You can see that that's a very smooth situation. Um, they usually have the, the Manny Fresh sound, but these are flat. So I'm just gonna have to trust them that it's ETFE laminated and it's not PET. But whenever I don't see those bubbles, I think PET you move accordingly. This panel is also different in that it does not come with any stands. Let me show you. There are no stands on it. It is pretty much a lay flat monster. So it comes instead with these Velcro straps. We'll talk about these a little later. The zip bag is a full zip, comes completely open. This is what the little junction situation looks like. I like that they have two individual holes on this one. My first All Powers 200 did not. That's about how long that cable is. So it's nice that they give you the extensions. I'm, I'm really grateful for that. Now it does have six carabiners and then you know it has those six straps, but those straps are of a flat orientation. So I feel like wiring those through here would be a little bit ugly. That's me nitpicking, but I'm sensitive to stuff like that. I actually have to take all of that back because um, realistically what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop the carabiners in these holes and then run your straps through the carabiners. So there you go. So this is why it's important to try stuff out. So I was just messing around with the banister things and these are actually made for rails, not these kind of banisters. They are not big enough. I like the handle it has here. You know, it's not just a strap. It has a little rubber kind of thing on top of it that gives you something a little bit better to reach on and grab onto. It has these push button releases that are actually really nice. And as far as I could tell, I don't think we're gonna have an issue with this not being able to reach because these straps are not adjustable. But as I look at the panel, the panel itself has some give up here. So it folds over really nice. I have been using this panel a lot <laughs> and I've never had a situation where I had to pull it and it not be able to reach its uh, destination over here. So that's pretty cool. The layout is a little bit interesting because as you can see, these wires are positioned in such a way that they come out this way. But when you flip this joker over, <laughs> the wires are actually slated to run that way. And I guess they could run that way and kind of come out in the middle, which makes sense depending on the orientation of how you're going to use this panel. A popular scene that they have shown is it hanging off the side of a van, which is interesting because we're going to talk about how these panels are wired in a second. We have six 100 watt panels connected to this dip. And it's interesting how they're wired because what they did was they split them and this panel and that panel are connected in series, which is strange. The reason why it's strange is because I had this automatic idea that if I wanted to, I could set this up in such a way where you could have this and have it lean up against something like that and get more sun on this panel than you are getting on this panel when you're dealing with um, 
winter sun, but it just doesn't work that way because of how they're wired. As soon as you get shade on any part of this panel, whole panel's toast. So you have to deal with it in a vertical orientation. So if you get shade kind of coming up from the ground, these panels are out, but those four panels are still getting power. It's an interesting design. I don't particularly like it, but I think it's six one way, half a dozen another. So as I sit here and think about the orientation of this panel and where the carabiners are, you really don't have many options. I mean, you could risk it by trying to hang it up vertically from the top or vertically from the top, but the carabiners are on the outside. So they're almost telling you, you have to hang this up long ways. I mean, this is the ideal kind of situation to have it laid out long ways like this, which confuses me as to why they put the panels in series like that. But you guys help me out. Am I missing something here? Now I did test this out for usage and what I would consider to be an ideal situation. Take a look at that footage here. Listen, my across the street neighbor who no longer lives here, she has this kind of angle thing. And it's the best way for me to try and get the most out of this 600 watt behemoth. <laughs> and then we're gonna try it with the all power is all 1500. So you can see by the frame post, this angle is not perfect. But I mean, honestly, how are you gonna get a perfect angle with this kind of panel? So the reality just is what it is. Let's look at the numbers. Holy smokes. This thing jumped up to 97% that quick. <laughs> I can't do nothing with that. It's freaking full. That's bananas. It was at like 87, 83%. And then I just threw like, it was getting 300 watts. <sighs> so in this crazy journey, I needed to put a load on here. I was going to grab a heater, but why waste power when this needs power in it? So I set the EcoFlow to max charge of 660 watts to try and knock this down. So we're going to wait a little bit and then we'll see what kind of power we're getting in so I can actually show you this time. <laughs> It was like 340 though, spoiler alert. The sun is a little hazy, as you can see, but it started out at like 330, 340, 350. So I'm hoping it goes back up to that, but that haze could be impacting it. Let's actually see what our ridges are doing, namely this one. So I have 300 watt panels that are doing 240. So we are down to 80% and we're still getting we're at 270 so that's not looking good so i went and i got the all powers r600 because this one can take in up to 300 watts of solar um same voltage 60 volts but i just unplugged it and plugged it back in and you can see it's getting 324 now so that's interesting the angle is not perfect you know what I mean? But again, like with a panel like this, you can't really get the angle perfect. I mean, you can, if you're gonna really, you're gonna put in some work and string it up and so on and so forth, you could do a little bit better job on the solar output. But 300 and some odd watts from a joint, I mean, that that's, I have to take into consideration that it's winter sun, that the angle is not perfect. Just for a little bit of context, it is 1030 something in the morning and it's in December. You know what? I'm actually going to test it again. Those particular results didn't necessarily blow me away. These particular results that I'm probably about to get are not going to blow me away either, but I want to add a different test in. But I'm going to take it over this way a little bit and try and angle one half of the panel up and then one half of the panel flat and see what kind of numbers I can get. Honestly, all I really want to see is maybe about 160, maybe a little bit more, maybe like about 200, 220, because these are angled properly. <laughs> well, as properly as it can get. Let's check in with it and see how much it's getting from its one, this 300 panel. Okay, it's getting 130, 130. So we're gonna pull it out, run it over there, see what we get. Those are as much as I can show you about the solar conditions. You can see that there's haze and clouds and all kinds of stuff. Laying flat, we're getting about 83. Now I'm gonna angle this up. <laughs> like so, using my body. So this actually did not improve things at all, which, check this out. It makes perfect sense. As I told you, these panels, are wired in series. So that blows this whole test out of the water because this panel array is gonna be impacted by that panel array because of them being in series, they're treating that as one panel. So even the fact that I tilted this up, 
is useless. What I typically need to do is I need to turn it long ways. 147, 194, 237. Back down to 90. And after all that testing, I'm literally picking up 600 watts from in my non-existent neighbor's yard. I used to know the people who lived here. <laughs> and can bring it all the way over to my yard in a matter of seconds. And it goes on sale often. You should go to camelcamelcamel.com and then check the price history on it. So you can inform yourself, right? Right. I seriously believe that this is a panel worth considering because it's a I'm not playing around panel. <laughs> You're not getting no 150 watts, you know, for this one. You're laying this thing flat out in the summer and you're getting good power from this. Let's just call it 600 minus 20%. So let's call it like 480. I would assume, let's just lowball it and say you would get about 400. You know, thinking about how some of us like to travel light, but have these decent power stations that could take in a lot of power. This is, this is pretty dope. For like a weekend warrior, you know these foldable panels are not made to be hammered. They're just not. But you'll get power out of this for your, your trips every now and then and you going out to the, I just think it's nice. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it.